Hello friends, um, so I went to the library again. I'm gonna show you here. There, there, there's quite a few books again. Um, I like the library. I like that um, I don't have to pay for any of this. I'm going to try to be fairly brief and show you all the books I've gotten recently. Um, today I'm just going to do a library haul. And then my next video, I'm going to do a library TBR. I'm rethinking how I want to do this in 2021. I've been doing monthly library TBRs and monthly library hauls, and that's great that that does make sense, except that I have to go to the library pretty much every two weeks, otherwise books that I request go back and get returned. And so I'm, I'm wondering about doing smaller library hauls together with a TBR in the future. Um, I might do that and then just pick like two or three books from the stack. Uh, but anyway, today we've got a, a big one, so let's just kind of dive in here. There is a variety of different kinds of books. Um, let's start with Rebel Rose. I think this is a fairy tale retelling. Uh, yeah, so it's we've got Belle in 1789 France. Uh, I don't really know anything about this book other than that, and this is one that people have been talking about lately, or at least picking up. Whether or not it's any good, I'm not really sure, but I figured I'd get it out from the library and we'll see if it's any good, see if I actually get to it. Um, I guess when I went to the library today, it was my last time going for the year. Uh, and so I'm gonna put up on the screen how much money the library saved me this year. Now, that includes some books for my kids and I don't think that includes audiobooks or eBooks and I don't read all the books, but I checked out a decent amount of books. Um, Dust, this is a Peter Pan retelling. I've had this one from the library before and didn't get to it, which happens a lot. Then I've got The Kingdom of Back. This is supposed to be like a uh, story of Mozart's sister, whose name is what, Maria? I think maybe, uh, but there's like some magical elements to it. And then someone was telling me about Annabelle Lee. I think this is a Christian uh, either mystery or like kind of like thrillery book of some sort. 14 miles east of Peachtree, Alabama, Alabama, a secret is hidden. The secret's name is Annabelle Lee. Yeah, I read the back. I don't really get it, but I think it might be good. Then I was looking for mystery recommendations and some people recommended Peter Swanson, so I got Eight Perfect Murders. I really want to read more mystery books, but I'm like picky as to what I want to read in them. I want them to have high stakes, but I don't want them to be terrible. <laughs> so it's hard. Um, and then I recently read a B.A. Paris book. So I requested a couple of hers. I've got Bring Me Back. Um, the red one I read was Behind Closed Doors. I really enjoyed that one. So uh, yeah, I got a few. Bring Me Back. I'm assuming these are all just like thriller type things. She went missing, he moved on. A whole world of secrets remained until now. Yeah, I would really like to get to the two books of hers that I have here. I'm not sure where the second book is yet. Okay, then I got Submerged by Danny Petri. I did read one of hers recently. I don't remember what it was called. It was fairly unforgettable. Was it hers? Oh, um, I don't know. Yes, this is her last encourage. She, she just writes typical Christian romantic suspense, judging from the one book I read. People thought maybe, some people thought I would maybe like the series better. Some people thought it would just be too typical for me. So I'm not super keen on that. I thought of even like not showing that in the haul here, um, but we'll see. Uh, we have always lived in the castle. This is Shirley Jackson. This is a short story, I believe, like, no, this is a novel. She mostly writes short stories and I enjoy those. So I thought I would check this out. It feels kind of dirty though. That is the downside of the library. Um, so there's that. Then I have the inheritance games, which sounds like a cross between like the Hunger Games and uh, another book that I'm blanking on again. So got that. I shared a few of these books, like the, um, the inheritance games and a couple of these books in my recent reading vlog, but I'll show them here again. Oh yeah, then I ended up getting this uh, Debbie McComer, <laughs> Mrs. Miracle Christmas. Uh, 
I don't know why. <laughs> I think because I just knew that I would find it really cheesy. And I'm not, I'm not gonna read this one. I'm not, we're not even, it's not even gonna go on because I just don't wanna subject myself to that. Then I got A Thousand Warnings. Uh, these are poems by Mary Oliver. Um, I've never read any of her poems to my knowledge and I enjoy a certain kind of poetry and I'm looking for more poets that fit that poetry. Pretty much Emily Dickinson, um, short lines. Yeah, I don't even know how to describe it, but um, just judging from like how Mary Oliver lays her poems out, I might enjoy this. Uh, this is another one that I requested. Oh, someone read this recently. Was it Krista from Books and Jams? Oh, A Holiday by Gaslight. I saw this on someone's video. It's super short. It's 165 pages, so I might read this. I don't know. I don't know why I got it out. Oh, Victorian Christmas. Oh, no, that's it. Um, Desi from Darling Desi did a like, Victorian Christmas video and talked about how she loved this book. I don't know if I will. Oh, and then I've got The Gospel Comes with a Hoski. This is a Christian nonfiction book. Um, I actually, I started listening to this on audio. I got pretty far too, I think, earlier this month. Was really enjoying it. And I just, but like, struggling with audiobooks lately. I go through phases where I love audiobooks and listen to like tons. And then just phases where I don't know, my, my brain is thinking too many thoughts to be able to listen to a book on audio yet. Like, when it's quiet, my brain just wants to work. And also, kids around, I feel like I need to be present. So, I want to finish this one. Um, I almost think I actually want to finish this one right away. And this one's a Christmas book, so I don't really want to read that in January. Uh, then, The Sound of Gravel. Uh, okay, this one Krista just got or read. I think she got it in her like Christmas book exchange with a couple of other ladies. And this is about a woman who's the 39th of her father's 42 children growing up on a farm in rural Mexico. Uh, so I think it's like kind of like a cult. Yes, there's the prophet of the cult. <sighs> uh, yeah, and so ever since, is this? Oh yeah, this is a memoir. Ever since reading the line between earlier in End of November, I read it. Uh, I just want to read more about cults. Oh, then I got Eddie Morton, Mystery Queen, The Body Under the Piano. This was another one that from Desi's video of Winter Reads. Just looks like a cute little middle grade story that's kind of, um, takes Agatha Christie and her friend is, his name is, I think it was something, oh yes, he's a Belgian boy named Hector. Perrot? Per per perrot? Per I don't know. Obviously a ripoff of Hercule Perot. Um, and it kind of reminded me of uh, Winter House a little bit based on the illustrations. So that looked fun. Uh, I think this is a Christmas book someone recommended. Christmas on the Island by Jenny, Jenny Colgan. Uh, once again, I'm not going to put this on my January TBR. Then I got The Constant Rabbit, which is... England 2022. There are 1.2 million human-sized rabbits living in the UK. They wear clothes and can walk and talk and drive cars. Uh, yeah, so I don't really know what this is about other than that, but I do know that Anne from Elizabeth Anne Reed, Reads likes Jasper Ford, and I don't know why this is the book I decided to pick up, but apparently that's the book I decided to request. Oh. Then I have Still Life by Louise Penny, who is a Canadian mystery writer. And I've been wanting to read more mysteries, like I said. And this is the first in her um, series. So I wanted to start here. And hopefully I'll enjoy the series because I think there's quite a few books out. Uh, these are stories and poems from audacious literary mavens. It's called Women Who Wrote. This is a really pretty cover. 
Uh, so I think it's just like short, yeah, short stories and poems by a variety of women. So we will see Louisa May Alcott, Jane Austen, Emily Dickinson, and more. That sounds like a good lineup. Oh, then I have Wildwood. Um, so I am a patron of Morgan Long's Patreon, and this is one of her options for her January buddy read. I'm hoping this one wins the vote. This is what I voted for. I own book two. It's on my shelf, but I haven't actually read book one. So I'm hoping to be able to read this in January. Then I got Missing Mike. Someone just read this. Um, it's about a dog and there's a fire. I'm not sure who, oh, this is in a free, this is a free verse novel. So this might've been Amanda from the Curly Reader who recommended this one or said she enjoyed it. That might be where I heard it. I really like free verse novels when done well. Um, okay, so this is Colleen Coble. She normally writes like Christian suspense, romantic suspense kind of thing. But I heard that One Little Lie is a really good one by her. So I grabbed this one to try out. And then I just have one more. Well, I kind of have two. I got a picture book for myself because this is The Office, A Day at Dunder Mifflin. And I just wanted to read it myself. That was not even for my kids. Uh, then the final one is The Family Romanov. Murder, Rebellion, and the Fall of Imperial Russia. Russia. Uh, so someone said that they really enjoyed this book uh, when I talked about Romanov, the uh, historical fiction with a fantasy twist book that I recently, or I enjoyed earlier this year. So I requested this one. And there we go. There's my library books. And then in my next video, I'm going to do a little TBR using Hey Reader to pick I don't know like three of them maybe we'll see probably three usually when i get going though i just want to pick another one i would love to hear what you have gotten from the library recently and let me know what you're hoping i pick up here thanks for watching guys